Hello friends, how are you? I am Akshay. Welcome to Technologic. Today we will discuss about the various joining strategies used in Spark SQL like broadcast hash join, shuffle hash join, short march join, broadcast nested loop join and shuffle nested loop join. The shuffle nested loop join is also known as the Cartesian product join and the broadcast join is also known as the map side join. So, uh, we will, uh, you may feel that this is a very long list, but we will discuss everything in detail and mostly we will focus on which join strategy is chosen when. So please uh, subscribe to my channel uh, to have more videos like this, which will help you to understand all the uh, join strategies kind of things or the complicated things in uh, Spark and clear your interview. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, please stay tuned and please watch till the end. Let's start today's topic. So uh, first we'll give a like short overview of each join. So let's start with the map side join or the broadcast hash join. So broadcast hash join is mostly on the concept of the if your query is qualified as broadcastable like if you are doing a uh, inner join, so broadcast has join, you must remember the first three types of join like broadcast has join, shuffle has join and the short merge join, they all work on the EQ join. But uh, the if your query, so now let's come to the broadcast has join. So if your query is uh, qualified as broadcastable like if uh, in equi join you can have like multiple kind of join like left outer join right outer join full outer join and inner join so in case of inner join or full outer join either of the side of, uh, of the data set should be broadcastable and that should be under the broadcast threshold so there is a parameter like auto broadcast threshold so that parameter will have uh, some value of the data set size to be broadcastable like its default size is 10 MB and if your data set is less than that then your query can qualify that is broadcastable and for the left outer join the right side of the database should be qualifying that criteria for right outer join um, left data set should qualify that criteria and if the data set is broadcastable as per the required criteria then you can go for the broadcast hash join and it is only applicable for the EQ join and the broadcast has join perform better than any other join if the data set which you have broadcasted is very uh, small in size. If the broadcastable data set is big in size then you can face the out of memory issue. Let's come to uh, shuffle has join. It's also a uh, join which support EQ join only and the you know the what's the shuffle operation is it's like most basic operation in uh, map reduce right uh, so like you need to in shuffle has join you need to like shuffle the data or export the data among the executors so in shuffle has join as every shuffle operation consists of moving data between executors to make the rows of the joining data frames are grouped in each executor according to the key defined for the join. Building hash map from table is a very memory intensive operation and it could cause out of memory when build site is big. Sort merge join as the name suggests consists of two steps. First step is sorting the data frames based on the key and second step is the merging of sorted data into a single place by simply iterating over the elements and assembling the rows having the same value for the join key. This joining strategy is ideal for the big size data set at both sides and that data cannot be broadcasted. So if the data cannot be broadcasted, the preferred way to do for the equijoin is short merge join and there is one another parameter I can say like which is called preferred sort merge join 
this if this is enabled then apart from the broadcast has joined only short merge join is executed as uh, taken as a physical plan otherwise your shuffle has join will be taken in the physical plan as the join strategy now let's talk about the nested loop joins in nested loop joins you know that every row of the first data set iterate over every row of the second data set and it may degrade the performance of the join operation but in certain situation the join key is unknown or not fixed then in that case nested loop join are used now there are two types of nested loop join one is where your query is qualified as the broadcastable that i already explained in the broadcast has join if this your query is qualified then you need to use broadcast nested loop join and if your query cannot satisfy and the data set cannot be broadcastable then in case of inner join and cross join you need to choose or cartesian product join is chosen as the join strategy but as you know this is a nested loop join this kind of join strategy is a final fallback as they are not very good for performance now the question is when what type of join strategy is chosen so there are three factors first is the join strategy hint so you may give a hint which join strategy should be chosen in your spark sql so that is one point second point is that it's the based on the availability of the equijoin key if the equijoin key is available then you can choose among the three as we have already discussed first is broadcast has joined second is short merge join third is shuffle has joined but if the key is not or not fixed then you have only two option which are the two nested loop joins so and the third the data set size if it can be broadcastable or not so these three things will decide the which join strategy is taken in your physical plan now let's discuss in detail if it is the equi join we first look it into the joining hint if the broadcast hint then we will choose the broadcast has join if it is a short merge hint then if we will choose the short merge join if only the join in keys are sortable if shuffle has join shuffle has hint then we will choose the shuffle has join and if the hint is shuffle replicate nested loop join then we will choose the cartesian product or the shuffle nested loop join but there on join type could be only inner or cross join there is no uh, left outer or right outer or full outer join supported if there is no hint then there are some rules we need to follow first we will go for broadcast has join if the query is qualified as broadcastable and the join type is supported then the broadcast has join is chosen next we will then choose check for the shuffle has join if one side of the data is small enough for the local hash map because you know the local hash map is the more memory intensive operation in shuffle has join and that could raise into the out of memory issue so if it is small enough for the local hash map and is much smaller than the other side and if the preferred short merge join this parameter is disabled then we'll choose the shuffle has join else the if the joining keys are sortable then we will choose the short merge join and 
Next, we'll go for the Cartesian product join if the join type is inner join or cross join. The last solution we will choose the broadcast nested to join. Now if it's not an equijoin like the joining keys are not fixed if there is a hint like first if there is a broadcast hint then we will choose the broadcast nested loop join if all the criteria fulfilled. Second we will choose the shuffle replicate nested loop join hint if uh, then if we have shuffle replicate nested loop hint then we will pick up the shuffle replicate nested loop join if the join type is inner or cross join so you should always remember i am just repeating it that could be boring but you should always remember shuffle replicate nested loop join or the cartesian product join is only applicable for inner or cross join and if there is no hint then we will choose broadcast nested loop join if the query is qualified as broadcastable else we will pick up the cartesian product if the join type is inner or cross join as a last option we will choose the broadcast nested loop join again. So this is how the different join st strategies are decided and executed in the physical plan. There are so many conditions but you should remember the order. The join type, equijoin or join key are not fixed, broadcast hint and broadcast hint is not there. Third data size if it is broadcastable or not so to summarize these three are the major contributing factor to decide your joint strategies and you should remember two uh, parameters one is the auto broadcast threshold that criteria you need to configure be, uh, before you decide your broadcasted broadcastable data set it is default as 10 mb and you can change it second is the preferred short mod join so you need to make it enabled and disabled to choose be between the short mod join and supple hash join for big size data set in either side short mod join perform best for one data site is small enough broadcast has join perform best but your join strategy will decide you will face the out of memory issue or not so choose smartly and it is entirely dependent in your case we will check with some example in the next video please check out thank you so much till then bye bye